Eh, grande saludo a mis amigas y mis amigos de México y de Marruecos. Well, thank you guys for your comments last time. It was really cool. Yeah, I'm here in a poor hope today because I'm driving to work uh, to Belleville from Toronto. So I'm here today. Just I want to take a break. And this is my advice to you guys. When you drive in long range distances, <laughs> just stop time to time. Take a break. Drink water, uh, grab a bite, uh, don't kill yourself, take it easy, and uh, yeah, you get on time anyway. Yeah, this is cool. So, yeah, this is so cool, guys. It's a hot day though, it's super hot. Yeah, I would like also to talk to you guys about something. You know, my channel is not growing that fast because I don't have any other social media platforms such as Instagram or Facebook. So that being said, it will be a while before it's gonna keep off and it's gonna take off as well. Yeah, but we're doing it slowly and surely. That's what it is. Yeah, FYI. Um, in Canada, like the distance between the cities, they are really huge. So, 140 kilometers is nothing. I like small countries, like 140 kilometers. That might take you from like the east end to the west end, which is funny though. So, big country, big distances means you'll be like more cautious when you drive. Like I said, take it easy, don't kill yourself. Life is beautiful, you know, don't be hasty. And uh, yeah, um, I would also like to thank um, my very first comments from uh, two guys from Mexico. I will leave you the, uh, the link for their channels on the description box. Um, they're just amazing, amazing people. And I would like also to thank Yasin from Morocco. Shout out to you, my boy, you're doing a good job. Keep it up, you are a, you are a chef. Um, I'll be proud of you, man. Keep up the good job, and uh, yeah, you get there. Yeah, FYI, um, in Canada, like the distance between the cities, they are really huge. So, 140 kilometers is nothing. I like small countries, like 140 kilometers. That might take you from like the east end to the west end, which is funny though. So big country, big distances means you'll be like more cautious when you drive. Like I said, take it easy, don't kill yourself. Life is beautiful, you know, don't be hasty. And uh, yeah, um, I would also like to thank um, my very first comments from uh, two guys from Mexico. I will leave you the, uh, the link for their channels on the description box. Um, they're just amazing, amazing people. And I would like also to thank Yasin from Morocco. Shout out to you, my boy, you're doing a good job. Keep it up, you are a, you are a chef. Um, I'll be proud of you, man. Keep up the good job and uh, yeah, you get there. Yeah, and just uh, some more information about my sunglasses. You know, these are the notorious B.I.G. Versace, Medusa, you know. These are like old school, 1995, I think, 96. But you can feel it's like the old school, the OG stuff, like East Coast, West Side Beef. Yeah, that was the golden era. That's where they grew up. Yeah, but other than that, I choose that this vlog will be like fully in English just to, maybe I'm gonna have like wider fans base for the fact that people, few people speak like Moroccan or Arabic so I'm trying to make this vlog different and see what's gonna happen. Other than that, everything is cool. Life is getting back to normal again. We are at stage three now here in Ontario, Canada, so which is good. It means like the movie theaters are open back again. Uh, gatherings like um, numbers getting like bigger now. But uh, the wear of mask is mandatory and uh, yeah, let's do it for now. Yeah, and just uh, some more information about my sunglasses. You know, these are the notorious B.I.G. 
Versace Medusa, you know. These are like old school, 1995, I think, 96. But you can feel it, it's like the old school, the OG stuff, like East Coast, West Side Beef. Yeah, that was the golden era. That's where they grew up. Yeah, but other than that, I choose that this vlog will be like full in English just to... Maybe I'm gonna have like wider fans base for the fact that people few people speak like Moroccan or Arabic so I'm trying to make this vlog different and see what's gonna happen. Other than that, everything is cool, life is getting back to normal again. We are at stage three now here in Ontario, Canada, so which is good. It means like the movie theaters are open back again. Uh, gatherings like uh, numbers getting like bigger now but uh, the wear of mask is mandatory and uh, yeah let's do it for now yo guys I want to share with you the information about the vaccine you know I don't want to name what the vaccine I the one I took but uh, I've been through like some rough tough moments uh, I had like uh, fatigue uh, really like uh, I was like I had a very intense like uh, joint pain and uh, yeah but other than that okay like I said before vote this vlog is really quick yeah so back to the vaccine topic yeah I don't know it depends on the person some people they say they did well I did not I was sick for three days I took three days off oh no worries I took three days off because of that, taking the vaccine. Uh, after taking the vaccine because I think it was not that easy. So my boss gave me three days off. That was nice of him. Shout out to you, Dave. I know you might not watch this video, but shout out to you, bro. For caring. I really appreciate it. Yeah. So I don't know, guys. Uh, just share with me your experience with the vaccine. How did you feel afterwards? Just in the comments section. And uh, yeah, I hope you did well because I did really bad. Yo guys, I wanna share with you the information about the vaccine, you know. I don't wanna name what the vaccine I the one I took, but uh, I've been through like some rough tough moments. Uh, I had like uh, fatigue, uh, really like, uh, I was like I had a very intense like uh, joint pain and uh, yeah but other than that okay like I said before vote this vlog is really quick yeah so back to the vaccine topic yeah I don't know it depends on the person some people they say they did well I did not I was sick for three days I took three days off oh no worries I took three days off because of that taking the vaccine uh, after taking the vaccine because I think it was not that easy so my boss gave me three days off that was nice of him shout out to you Dave I know you might not watch this video but shout out to you bro for caring I really appreciate it yeah so I don't know guys uh, just share with me your experience with the vaccine how did you feel afterwards just in the comments section and uh, yeah, I hope you do well because I did really bad. Yo guys, I want to share with you the information about the vaccine, you know. I don't want to name what the vaccine I the one I took, but uh, I've been through like some rough tough moments. Uh, I had like uh, fatigue, uh, really like uh, I was like I had a very intense like uh, joint pain and uh, yeah, but other than that, okay, like I said, before vote. This vlog is really quick. Yeah, so back to the vaccine topic. Yeah, I don't know, it depends on the person. Some people, they say they did well. I did not. I was sick for three days. I took three days off. Oh, no worries. I took three days off because of that, taking the vaccine. Uh, after taking the vaccine because I think it was not that easy. So my boss gave me three days off. That was nice of him. Shout out to you, Dave. I know you might not watch this video, but shout out to you, bro, for caring. I really appreciate it. Yeah. 
so i don't know guys uh, just share with me your experience with the vaccine how did you feel afterwards just in the comments section and uh yeah i hope it well because i did really bad yeah, another thing guys you know like uh maybe you're like asking what kind of job I'm doing, what i'm doing for a living so just to give you a heads up and put you on the loop so i'm a construction guy my specialty is retail construction so basically what we do is like we build and we set retail stores and um, yeah it's a tough job that's why i do the rollouts and uh travel like from province to province city to city whenever the need is and uh, get the job done uh, our time frames they are really tight and super narrow but other than that uh, it pays good and uh, to all of those who's dreaming I will come into Canada, so just bear in mind that you need something like construction, something like handy. Forget about paperwork, forget about office jobs. It's blue color jobs all the way. Advice to your brothers and sisters, don't, yeah, don't think you're gonna get a white color job in Canada easily because it's the way the country is, the way the system is. Handy workers and handy job is, is on demand, so keep that in mind and bear that in mind. Oh yeah, I just forgot to mention something about uh, my relationship with Mexico. So Mexico to me is like uh, it's the um, it's like the mirror side of uh, Morocco because we have a very strong Spanish background. Um, we have that uh, architecture-wise some similarities, and I think it's uh, very interesting to discover Mexico, the country, the people, the cultures. Uh, the history, the languages, dialects. It's a very rich country with, uh, with a very uh, interesting background and uh, very deep knowledge of people they got. Because uh, I had like, friend, like uh, friends from Mexico and all I can say about those people, they are just super smart. They are smart. They can make things out of scratch and just do a good job. And uh, shout out to you, Alejandro, man, you know. I know that you might not see this video, but shout out to you, Alejandro, you know. De Guadalajara. Yeah, so my next trip is going to be to Mexico. I don't know when. All depends on my vacation. But uh, other than that, I will vlog for you to you guys from Mexico. And uh, one day I'll be like trying the street food. And that will be awesome. Okay, guys. Peace out. And stay safe, okay? Yeah, well, you know. well, my friends, you know, thank you so much for your support. I need more support for sure, but I think it uh, should be fine for now, we're good. But uh, thank you so much and uh, see you in another video. Peace out. And we made it to the hotel, safe. Like I said, don't drive when you are tired you're starting like swerving in between the lanes you may kill yourself kill other people take your time you might be late you might lose something but you might not lose your life which is the most precious thing for us so guys uh, that was the vlog for today see ya and stay safe by the way this is Ramada Hotel by Windham in Belleville okay yeah yeah, it's, it's all good. I like the artwork. This is like a king size. I would like those. I, I think it's a queen size bed mattress. So not bad. I'm gonna spend like two weeks. This is like my life. Well, stay safe and saludo. Adios. To the next vlog, guys. Keep it up. Peace out.